Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Ronald Reagan was the 40th President of the United States, serving from January 1981 to 1989. He was a Republican and was credited with a resurgence of American conservatism. He pursued a policy of neoliberal economics, seeking tax cuts, reduced government spending, and privatization. Towards the end of his presidency, he was involved in negotiations with Russian President Mikhail Gorbachev, which led to treaties reducing the nuclear capabilities of both countries and the ending of the Cold War. He also took an activist approach to protecting U.S. interests abroad, including controversial decisions, such as the bombing of Libya and the invasion of Grenada to reverse a communist coup. Ronald Reagan was born the 6th of February, 1911 in Tampico, Illinois. He attended Dixon High School where he gained an interest in acting and sports. He then attended Eureka College where he was elected president of the student body. I in the 1930s, Reagan gained work as a radio presenter commenting on baseball games. He made a strong impact because of his clear presentation and engaging voice. In 1937, Reagan moved to Hollywood where he gained a contract with Warner Brothers. He was a prolific actor appearing in 19 films by the end of 1939. Reagan later commented that with many films he worked on, directors were keen to get the movie finished as quickly as possible. In 1942, he starred in King's Row, a film about a double amputee. His performance received critical acclaim, and it made him quite famous as a Hollywood actor. But, shortly after, he was drafted into active service in the U.S. Army. During the war, poor eyesight meant he was excluded from serving overseas. He worked in public relations and made several propaganda films and helped in the war loan drive to raise money for the cost of the war. Reagan married for the first time in 1940 to actress Jane Wyman, having two children. Wyman later filed for divorce in 1948, not wishing to support Reagan's political ambitions. After the war, Reagan became president of the Screen Actors Guild. This involved representing actors in labor disputes. He also gave information to the FBI about actors with potential communist sympathies. It was as president of SAG that he met Nancy Reagan, ironically, because Nancy had been mistakenly put on the list of communist sympathizers. They married in 1952 and had two children, Patty and Ron. Reagan began his political career as a Democrat. He supported Harry Truman in the 1948 election. However, his wife Nancy was a Republican, and in the 1950s, he drifted towards the Republican Party. He supported the presidential campaigns of Eisenhower, 52 and 56, and Richard Nixon, 1960. In 1962, he formally joined the Republican Party, stating that he didn't leave the Democrat Party, but the party left him. His political profile within the Republican movement rose sharply in 1964 when delivering a speech time for choosing for presidential hopeful Barry Goldwater. Reagan stressed his philosophy which would characterize his political views. Reagan believed that government needed to be limited to prevent intrusion into individual liberties. Reagan was espousing a conservatism that would become popular in America. He was a member of the National Rifle Association and in the 1960s opposed some civil rights legislation because people should have the freedom to discriminate in housing if they wanted to. However, he claimed it was not from racist motives and when growing up in the segregated South, he had offered accommodation to black people who were unable to stay at a hotel. Ronald Reagan later paid credit to Martin Luther King for the peaceful civil rights movement of the 1960s. Reagan promoted a form of conservatism that in many regards had parallels to libertarianism, a very limited form of government. In 1966, he was elected governor of California. His main policy planks were to reduce government spending, in particular, cut welfare spending, 
and to tackle the student anti-war, anti-establishment protests, which were springing up in response to the Vietnam War. As Governor Reagan was quick to send troops into Berkeley and other universities to crack down on protests. When quizzed about the bloody Thursday, where a protester was killed by police. Reagan was unapologetic. If it takes a bloodbath, let's get it over with. No more appeasement. Cannon, Lou, 2003, page 295. Reagan was supportive of the Vietnam War. In 1976, his standing within the conservative movement encouraged him to stand for the Republican nomination. He lost to the more moderate Gerald Ford, but his campaign gave an impressive display of conservative strength, and in 1980 he gained the Republican nomination to fight Jimmy Carter. Against a backdrop of high inflation, low growth and the Iran hostage crisis, Reagan offered a radical agenda of economic neoliberalism, a hard-line stance against communism, state rights and strong national defense. Reagan won a convincing electoral victory in 1981 making him the oldest person to be elected president. At the age of 69, Reagan was viewed as an excellent communicator, people warmed to his personal, no-nonsense style. He came across as something of a Washington outsider, more at home on the farm. This engagement with ordinary people played a pivotal role in his electoral success and long-term popularity. Within three months of his presidency, Reagan was shot in an attempted assassination attempt. He narrowly survived and made a full recovery. Reagan promoted conservative social values. This included trying to push a constitutional amendment to allow school prayer. He opposed abortion, though ironically as a new governor of California, he signed a bill allowing abortion. Reagan later said he regretted the decision. He also launched a renewed war on drugs, which took a hard-line approach to drug use. It led to more prison terms, especially for Afro-Americans, the biggest users of crack. For example, sentencing guidelines that meant that someone 5 grams, 2 sugar packets, worth of crack received an automatic 5 years in prison. The prison population soared during Reagan's term and continued to rises after Reagan's presidency. More successful was the Just Say No drug awareness campaign, which sought to encourage young people to reject recreational drugs. First Lady Nancy Reagan was active in raising its profile across America. On immigration, Reagan was relatively liberal. In 1982, he allowed three million existing illegal immigrants to claim U.S. citizenship. To stem further illegal immigrants, he passed a law to make it illegal to employ illegal immigrants. In economics, he took a hard line against trades unions. He implemented income tax cuts and attempted to reduce government spending. A plank of his economic policy was called trickle-down economics. The idea that if the wealthy become better off, wealth and income will trickle down to all in society. Despite rhetoric to reduce government spending, overall government spending increased under Reagan, partly because of the expansion of military expenditure, 40% increase between 1981 and 1985. Also, although top rate income tax rates were cut from 70% to 50% in 1981, other taxes were later raised. Tax as a percent of GDP during his presidency was 18.2% almost the same as the average tax rate 18.1% between 1970 to 2010. Despite a stance of fiscal responsibility, he presided over growing budget deficits, and overall national debt rose from $997 billion to $2.85 trillion, something Reagan described as his greatest disappointment. However, Reagan claimed strong economic growth during the 1980s was a vindication of his economic policies. Reagan benefited from a fall in oil prices and the economic boom of the 1980s, which saw rising real incomes. But the period also saw an increased rise in inequality with the gap between high earners and low earners increasing significantly. Reagan was a fierce anti-communist all his life. On gaining the presidency, he was criticized for escalated tensions with the Soviet Union, 
calling the Soviet Union, the evil empire, 1983, and significantly building up the U.S. military strength. Under the reforming presidency of Mikhail Gorbachev, the Soviet Union became more committed to arms reduction and liberalization through Gorbachev's policy of perestroika and glasnost. Several treaties were signed which reduced the nuclear arsenals of both sides. In 1988, Reagan visited the Soviet Union, where he was well received. When asked if he still considered the Soviet Union the evil empire, Reagan replied no, I was talking about another time. Another era Reagan expressed optimism about the direction the Soviet Union were taking under Gorbachev. After office, Reagan received much critical acclaim and also much criticism. In August 1994, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, which involves a slow and steady deterioration in the brain. After the diagnosis, Reagan retreated from public view. He died of pneumonia on the 5th of June, 2004.